Oh my god. That, I think, is the pet. Uh, I was just doing a Reaper assignment. Wait, what does it say? Oh no, that is not the pet. Oh my god, I got so baited. That is still a really good drop though. That is not the... Um, yeah, that's one of the spear pieces I don't have. That is my second piece now. Oh my god, that caught me so off guard. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually working towards completing the quest requirements and everything I need for Elder God Wars 3 that is going to come out pretty soon. And first off, I'm completing the Vault of Shadows mini quest. It should be done right here. There we go, that's the Vault of Shadows mini quest. And the reason why I needed to complete that is because it is required for the Asandra's quest. Which is the only thing that I really need to do right now, except the Battle of the Monolith. And... In four days I can actually do the bigger quest, the city of Sentistan, which is going to be in this video most likely. So let's uh, just complete this quest and also do the Battle of the Monolith. Coming up on maybe the last 10% of the quest and this is such a cool area. So far the quest has been actually pretty fun. I don't really normally like questing. But this was alright, I would say. I'm, I'm pretty sure some other people would complain about everything a single quest in the game. But um, I think that the new quests in the game are pretty good. There's a lot of text, of course, that you have to, like, spacebar through. But, um, yeah, I think the areas are very cool. Look at this area with the eggs. Yeah, love the atmosphere. Oh, look, I found a live representation of uh, how I look when I wake up in the morning. Usually I look up the rewards I'm going to get before completing a quest, but this one I actually have no idea. 15k archaeology experience, or a lamp, 25,000 divination, 10k XP lamp. Unlock the knowledge to restore the pontifex observation ring. So, uh, that is a ring that I already have in my tool belt, so I have to get another one, and I think it's going to give me some sort of bonus, I'm not sure exactly. But uh, of course these lamps are very nice, 15k, 25k, and this lamp I'll just put in herb lore for 10,000. And by the way, I'm very close to 98 already. But now it is just uh, the battle... Oh, let's click that one. The uh, battle of the monolith, which I'm not sure if I can actually complete right now. I'm not sure if all the quests or all the parts are out for this already. But uh, I'm going to do all the ones I can at least. The battle for the monolith quest is very easy, it's uh, just four fights that you have to do, it's like tower defense, maybe you've seen it before, you've probably done it yourself in the game, and uh, the first quest is pretty much like all of the other quests. There's also just, uh, for example for this one, I had to go and talk to uh, a guy in fight kiln to be able to recruit him, so I could do the next quest, and after this one there's only one more to do, and uh, I'm not sure if that one is available just yet, I guess I'll see after this one. But uh, yeah, then I'm done with the quest, supposedly. So that's all the fights completed. I completed all the four fights, but uh, on June 21st, which is in three days, I will be able to complete this quest. But uh, everything that I can do is now completed for that quest. So in terms of questing and all that, I am as ready as I can be for the city of Sentistan. Another preparation I want to do is I want to get enough supplies so I don't have to worry about supplies at all when the Elder God Wars comes out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to farm some red spider eggs for super restores. I only have like 16 super store flasks left. So um, I think this is going to be the best way of doing it. Getting some fire making experience towards that 99. I think like 300 per kill as well as, as, well as getting magic experience and overall things towards... Look at that. I'm only 26 million of uh, 120 on magic. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, let's uh, get some red spider eggs. So this is what I got from like four hours of doing virus. I got 244 snapdragons and 400 red spider eggs. And I have 111 grimy snapdragons in the bank already. Plus 11 snapdragon potions. So that is going to match up pretty nicely. Going to get around 373 dose restores. As well as I got actually a lot of limpert roots. Which I struggled with getting before. And now I have 216, and the reason why that is very nice is because this. I have zero extreme strength, and everything else I have a decent amount of except for defense potions as well, so I will have to make some of those. But if I get, get 70 of these and 70 of the extreme strength that I can make now because I have so many limbirds, I will be able to make like 70 overloads 3 dose, which is going to be definitely enough for what I need for the God Wars dungeon. 98 herb lore, meanwhile making these restores, so only one more level until another 99, and Actually, if I do this Sliska's endgame quest, I get roughly 1.2 million experience, so that would be a free Herblore 99 whenever I do that quest. 
I have something pretty big I want to complete before the Elder God Wars dungeon. And first off, by the way, I did a lot of potions. You can see here I have uh, the restores right here. I just don't have any more flasks right now. So over the uh, days that come, I will have to get some more flasks. I can transfer these into these. And uh, also you can see here I made 216 extreme strength. And I've planted some cantadines. So I'm just waiting for my extreme defenses to go up from that. And then I'll make a bunch of overloads. Uh, at least 70 hopefully and what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do some Araxor just because I have a Reaper assignment as well as I want Onyxes. I need a total of three Onyxes and if I get that I can actually make the Essence of Finality which is the thing I want for Elder God Wars. I am fairly close to being able to buy another Amulet of Souls as well so I think that I will get a replacement for the Essence of Finality before it would break so I wouldn't be stuck without any of the Hydrix jewelry at all. So that's why I have confidence in actually making the Essence of Finality and then I will either put Dragon Claws into it or a Gothic Staff. Most likely going to be a Gothic Staff because I think I'll be using more magic than melee. It is currently path 1 and 3 so spider minions is up which is really annoying. It is the path I dislike the most. But let's see what the first loot is. As bad as it can be pretty much. So really all I want is uh, Onyxes or of course the Fang but getting the Fang is pretty unlikely. Some herbs. 20 points so over 200 now and uh, we get some dwarf weed seeds. That's second fragment as well so soon a full key. Mirrorback spider with maniacal aura is pretty scary with magic. Oh my god these drops man. This is why we bring a sign of death to the mirrorback spider or a spider path. Because it procs on a mirror back, almost one shot myself, two Saranic scales, nice. I think we're up to like 120%, maybe 100% enrage right now. Oh, there we go, two Onyxes, actually a lot of Saradomi Bruce as well. So only one more Onyx now, one more Onyx drop, or maybe I can just farm some ED2 for some Onyx dust or something, maybe ED3. And I have some Lucky Charms as well, so just one more Onyx and uh, I have to just get some components as well and I can make the Essence of Finality. To make the Essence of Finality I need Rumbling Components and a way to get that is actually through disassembling Acto items aka Raid Gear items and you can get it from Dry Gores, you can get it from the Tectonic Gear so it's very high level gear and in the worst case scenario I'll just have to spend some Techie on an item and then disassemble that instead of getting a Codex but uh, let's see what I get from this and I do not get a Codex but 2.1 million and a lot of Techie. So I'm just going to bank that and I currently have over 10,000 techie. I think uh, the boots are like 7.5k but I'm not sure if it gives enough rumbling components. I'll have to look into it. So the gloves are only 6.5k techie and I want to save as much techie as I possibly can for the codexes because I still don't have them. But uh, I looked it up and even the gloves if you just disassemble them right away it's 5 rumbling components and you only need 2 actually. So I'm just going to spend the minimum amount. I think 6.5k is the minimum amount. I don't think there's anything else that you can really buy. I don't think you can disassemble the mass cap teleport codex. Let me actually look that up. It seems like you can but it doesn't give rumbling components so in the end it doesn't matter. I'm just going to buy the gloves. There we go, got the gloves right there which is a set I actually want in the future so I'll have to do a lot of raiding. But for now this is what I have to do with this item. It is a very high value item, how much are they actually worth? Oh 3 million alec, I guess you can't trade them or something, yeah. Let's see, 5 rumbling components, that's really all I needed from that. Oh my god, I was uh, trying to solve how to do this, how I'm going to get the uh, webbings to make the extreme invention potion because I only had a super invention potion. I was like, how am I going to get to 117 to make the alchemical hydrix? And I was like running around looking at, I have only males, I can't breed, I can't get the thing. And then I was like, maybe I should just look in the bank. Maybe I should have done that uh, a bit earlier. For some reason I, I actually didn't believe at all that I had more because I made extreme invention potions recently. I guess I just didn't <laughs> need them at the time. I still need that onyx to be able to make the essence of finality but uh, I'm just going to really quickly here uh, make the alchemical hydrix because I have everything to be able to do that. So uh, I wonder where it's going to be. Is it going to be a misc support? Yeah there we go. The alchemical hydrix. I'm going to show you guys the value of this, it's insane. Refined components 50, fortunate components 50, 10 pressures 
and two rumbling components. Let's make that. What experience do we get? We get 15k invention and 7.5k crafting. And uh, this thing is worth 144 million. Yeah, uh, that's the reason why the essence of finality is like 280 mil. Because you need that and you need... Where is the reaper necklace? There we go. We need the reaper necklace, we need the amulet of souls and oh they don't show now because uh, obviously they're not at 100% but they're like 60 mil each. So 120 mil plus 144 million for the essence of finality. So now I just have to charge these to 100% and we can make it. To get the last onyx I'm just going to do some ED3 farming with uh, lucky charms. It shouldn't be that bad. I already have 40 onyx dust so just need 60 more and uh, might as well train attack because that is the last 99 combat I need. So uh, yeah some decent experience and money as well as onyx dust. How much onyx dust? 10 for the first boss. Not that great, but uh, very easy boss. Pretty much free onyx dust anyways. Oh my god, look at that. Two lucky charm procs on one pack. 18 onyx dust, which is a very, very high roll. I think 21 is the highest. And then 10 after that. 28 in one single pack. Oh, this is actually the first time I've got this. I got a Ragefire Gland, which is actually a very... It's not super rare from Lucky Charms, but it is a very hard drop to get from Rune Dragons usually. So if we look at this, this is actually... Where is it? There we go, Ragefire Gland. It's not worth that much, it's only 200k, but that is because of the Lucky Charms. And oh, look at that, I got a Reef Relic as well. That's 1 mil. But uh, what you actually use these for is you get the Glacor boots and then you can turn them into tier 90 power boots. So that is actually really nice. I should probably go and try to get some of those boots. I'm actually using the Berserker Aura on uh, this Taraket kill and uh, I, I will say I did get a personal best. But the damage I took was pretty insane. There were so many times I could have got KO'd and I'm probably not going to do that in the future. How many Onyx Dust? 15. I'm super lucky with these lucky charms. 19 onyx dust and that should be all I need to be able to make the last onyx. I'm not sure exactly how you do this but I'm going to assume I just use the alchemical hydrix because when I do this it says I need 99 crafting. Crafting potion 98. Actually I'm very close to 99. So let's add these together. You are about to fuse the following. Alchemical hydrix, amulet of souls reaper, necklace and I will get essence of finality. That is definitely what I want. And look at the stats of this, 56 in everything and 7 prayer bonus, the reaper necklace and the amulet of souls in one. And it is worth almost 280 million. And I'm going to probably, because I don't of course have a Seren god bow, which would be super good for range on Araxor. I'm probably going to go with the gothic staff because I'm maging Araxor now anyways, as well as I'm doing Telos with magic. There's so many things I can use the uh, gothic staff effect for. If you don't know what it does, it basically reduces the enemy's defense, also hits very hard. Because how it works is that I use a noxious staff and the gothic staff is tier 60 or 50, I'm not sure. And normally when you would use the special ability, it wouldn't do that much damage on the gothic staff. But if you use it with the essence of finality, it counts as a tier 90 weapon. So it can hit super super hard. I had actually never went and got one of these staves, I actually got an achievement. But I guess I just used the staff on the necklace. And uh, storing a special attack will destroy an item in the process. Yeah, I don't care about that. Obviously it's only 80k. So I will store this in the necklace. And of course I don't care about trading it. And that is now the uh, necklace with a gothic staff effect in it. So whenever I use this, class of gothics. Call upon the divine energy of gothics to perform a powerful magic attack that lowers the opponent's defense level by 5% and increases all the base hit chances against your opponent by 2%. That paired with the reaper necklace effect gives like 5% more accuracy and that with a runic accuracy aura or like the maniacal aura it's like you never miss it's insane so let's see what damage this can do i got overload i'm going to sunshine up here and this uh, damage ability actually only takes 25 percent of my adrenaline so it's actually really nice compared to i think the dragon claws take 50 percent so uh, if i would use that on telos with melee which is obviously a very good option it will still be more adrenaline but let's see how much damage this does now claws of gothics 9.2k another 7,000. 
that's a pretty strong threshold ability that I can use that often. Like, there's no cooldown on it. I can just use it again. 6.5k. There's only a few things left I want to do, and one of them is actually get holy overloads instead of searing overloads. And the reason why I haven't been making the holy, holy overloads is because I didn't have the farming level for it. I was like 85 last time and I tried to boost and you had to be 91. But recently I have got to 87 farming, and that means I can boost to plant fellstocks, which is the only way to get at 91 farming as an Iron Man the prayer new wall materials. So I've planted here as you can see. And I have to actually boost to be able to harvest them, so that's kind of awkward. Have to do it. Wait, boost your stats, get someone to assist you. Uh, I will forgo the farm. Oh, so I don't need to. I just uh, don't get farming experience. But I don't care about that. It's very minor. So all of these will be turned into prayer renewals. I already have the mushrooms in the bank, which is the secondary ingredient. Ooh, that's only five. But I have, I think, five planted of these. So we should be getting at least some prayer renewals. And I made 41 overloads, four doses. Uh, as I was talking about earlier in the video with the uh, super defenses that I was waiting on, the Cadantines I had planted. But um, yeah, let's make some holy overloads for the first time on the account. Some of the herb patches died, but I had some treatment for them, so I just have to wait a bit longer. And I will actually plant some more as well. I'll, I have a lot of brown spices, so I can boost a lot of times to 91. But these are the first prayer renewals of the account, and I have to turn these into 4 doses and get 41 4 doses of the prayer renewal, so I will have to boost and grow them for quite a while. Meanwhile waiting for that, I'm going to hand in an Aviancy dream coat to Armadil, and I get this Ring of Solomon, which is actually a relic that is super overpowered, or it's very strong at least in PVM situations. I'll show you guys in a sec. It is the Death Ward, 5% damage reduction when your life points are below 50% and 10% damage reduction when they are below 25%. And as you see, I only have 400 monolith power, so unfortunately I can only really go with the Font of Life and Death Ward. After that, I don't have any other relics that re I have the level for really that I can use, so these will have to be fine. The absolutely last thing I wanted to get done is invention charge on all my gear and I have currently 6 hours of charge having both the chest, legs and weapon augmented and I just farmed 60 more divine charges so if I add all of these we now have a total of 12 hours, almost 13 hours of charge. I think that would be enough for at least the beginning of God Wars 3. I don't think I'll be PVMing for 13 hours very fast, like probably over a few days most likely. So that is very nice. Also, if you're wondering, I now have 25 Holy Overload potions. So that is going to be very nice and I still can make 16 more whenever my mushrooms, the Mochella mushrooms as well as the Fellstocks are done. And I think that's going to be enough. I mean like 25 hours that I will get in overloads with holy overloads as well as I have the searing overloads in the worst case. And uh, yeah, I feel pretty ready for uh, God Wars Dungeon 3, the Elder God Wars. And uh, with that I'm going to end the video here. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. And uh, also I have a Discord if you want to join that, link is always at the top of the description. And uh, maybe we can do some God Wars 3 together if there is a grouping opportunity for it with people from the Discord. So yeah, that would be very fun. Hope to see you there and uh, bye bye for now.